it's Melinda. Welcome back. I am doing a craft day. I am still working on my fish extenders for our next Disney cruise that is coming up very quickly and I need to get these done. And some of what I am doing for the gifts are dealing with the heat transfer vinyl that I am putting on little bags for people. So what I have left to do is I need to get some Mickey heads cut out and a Spider-Man symbol, so spider. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I When you open Silhouette, it automatically goes to a, a page design setting so you can upload what you want to work on. I'm going to do the shortcut of getting to my library, library, and to do that, as you follow my arrow, is over here on the left hand side, you'll see this open book, that is how you quickly get to your library, see it says show library, I click on that, and it will show my library, there we go, I didn't click on it apparently. The one that says my own designs, that's everything that I have uploaded into Silhouette already. So I'm going to click on that. And these are all the designs I've already uploaded. This is the Spider-Man one that I'm going to use, the spider. So I'm going to double click on that. And it will automatically load into my design space. Not my design space, like Cricut but my personal design space that I'm working on right now. So I'm going to move that over there because there's some things I'm going to have to do to that. And then I need Mickey heads. So I'm click on the library again. Scroll down. I know I have Mickey heads. This is all the stuff that I have done or have worked on. Four. I'm looking for Mickey heads. There's a rare picture of my family. Mickey head. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna go back up. There we go. Mickey head cuts. So click on that. Okay. So I know I want the Mickey heads around four inches and I want the spider around four inches to fit on what I am putting it on. Now I think the Mickey head is already ready for cutting but I do have to prepare the spider for cutting. And in order to do that I am going to make it larger so I can see better. Let me move the screen over so it's in the middle. And then we're going to go right up here to where it's a nice little green box outlined by a yellow box. And it says open the trace window. I click on that. I click on select trace area. And now my arrow is going to turn into this plus sign. I drag it onto the screen overlaying what I want to trace. And it will turn yellow. Now I'm going to want everything that is black, so I'm going to come over to my right side. I'm going to uncheck high pass filter. See how everything's turning yellow? I want to make sure that it's not jagged like these lines, so when it cuts out it's a smoother cut. In order to do that we will change our threshold over here on our right side. I'm just going to take the arrow and drag it, and as I drag it you'll notice that the yellow parts of my spider are changing. And it looks like I'm going to have to go with 100% in order to get some of the smoother lines. Once you have it where you want it, I am going to cut this as an outlay of a spider. So all I need to do is hit the trace and detach and that will cut the outlay for me. All right. So if I click on it, take my right arrow up to the top of the right screen and you see where it says cut settings. It's a nice little like pin looking. I click on that and I'm going to tell it how I want this cut. 
I want it to cut all the outside of it so I'm going to do cut edge. When I click on that and if it's on the design pad you'll see the red is where it's going to cut and that's exactly what I want. I'm going to delete this outline of a spider because I don't need that. And let's see what, how Mickey is going to cut out. See if I need to do the same thing to him. Okay, it says no cut. I'm going to come over to the right hand side and hit cut edge. And you see it's already going to cut the head. So it's ready for cut. Now we have to scale it down to the four inches I want. There's two ways to do this. I can either have the outline like it is, take the corner and move it to the size I want. Or I can go up to the top where it says object, go down to scale, click on that. Make sure that your image is highlighted. Go over to the right hand side and tell it do I want it to width height or height height <laughs> in inches. Well I want it to be as tall as four inches. So there is that. Move the Mickey head over here. And then same with the spider. I want it the height to be four inches. And there we go. Okay. Now I know that I need more than one Mickey head. I only need one spider. But I need more than one Mickey head. So I'm going to zoom in the mat so you can see it, which is right here on the bar with this nice little arrow gas with the plus sign. I'm going to zoom in, bring down the mat a little bit. Okay, I need more than one Mickey head. I believe I need, let me look real quick, I need five Mickey heads. So I'm going to, you can either right click the Mickey head and hit duplicate. Mickey head. I actually think I'm going to make the Mickey head three inches. So it's, oh. I'm going to make it three inches. I think the four inches is too big. I might have to do the spider a little less. Okay, sorry, back to duplicating. So you can click on it and right click and hit duplicate. You can click on the image and come up here to the right where it has these little spinny thingies over it and it will say replicate the window you click on that and then it has tons of options so I can duplicate to the right and it will automatically duplicate and move it to the right I can duplicate below and it will duplicate and send it down you can fill the whole page down here I can fill the whole page if I needed a whole set of Mickey heads, but I don't. I need five. So there are my five. Put my spider back up here. Okay, it looks good. This is what I need for my fish extender. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to come back up here to where it says cut settings. I'm going to click on that. Make sure everything's highlighted in red on where I want to cut. That's exactly what it's going to cut right there. Now, I'm going to tell it what type of material over here on the right hand side. It says material type, what I'm cutting. So the blade knows I'm not cutting hard stuff, harder cardstock this time. I'm cutting vinyl. So I click on the vinyl. And it tells you this blade is one, but I've ran my HTV before, and I know that I need my blade at a seven. So I'm just going to change that to a seven. And then the speed's fine, and the thickness is fine. And then I click Sin to Silhouette. Alright, now let me show you. I didn't click Sin to Silhouette yet because I have not put my vinyl in. I need to cut it in red and black. So I will go ahead and show you that. Now another thing is when you cut on HTV, you need to make sure that the image, you flip to a mirrored image 
I didn't do it on these ones because it doesn't really matter. It's a Mickey head. It's the same either way. But if it's an image where it matters because you're cutting on the back side, you will need to mirror image it. You highlight, you hit object, mirror, and then just flip it. Just flip it horizontal and bam, it's mirror image already. And then you can send it to the printer. All right, let's head over to the silhouette so I can show you the loading. Okay, here we are getting ready to cut out the images. I am going to do um, the images in red and a set in black. Now, this is the heat transfer vinyl I'm using, HTV. Um, this one is done by Sisser. Um, when you, wow, I'm saying um a lot. When you put it on your mat for cutting, remember to put it face down. So face down. So this is the vinyl part and this is the backing. Put it face down. Because remember, we, when you're cutting for heat transfer vinyl, you have to mirror the image so it cuts out appropriately now the images I did you know Mickey Mouse head is the same whether it's mirrored or not but there's a lot of images that you will have to mirror okay so we go ahead and we load it into the silhouette I'm doing the silhouette we load it in we put it on the line here and then we're going to hit load cut mat. So here it is all loaded and now the screen should say browse USB or unload. But we are cutting from a connected into my computer, heading over to the computer. Oops, sorry, that was my finger. And then we come down over here, let's see if I can see it, and it says send to silhouette. Sending it. And now it's cutting. Yay! And when it's done cutting, I will show you the end result. Okay, here are the items all cut out. I know you can't see it. I don't even think you can see the cut marks, but this is what it looks like. Let me, um, I do need to cut them out into little squares. So I can show you. So I'm cutting out just squares of the heads, Mickey heads. Here it is. And then I take off the part that wasn't cut. You can see. And HTV sticks really well. So you do have to pull a little hard. And there is my Mickey head. Now, when you go to do it, remember we cut front side down because when you go to do it, you turn it over. Let me get the little item I'm going to put this on. It's these little, these little pouches. So, what you do, let's do this side, it's cleaner is you put the image down on what you want it to be and then you iron it on. So I'll be using my easy press to put this on. And then voila, we'll have a project. But that is why we mirror image and cut on the opposite side is when you go to actually put it on the item, it's the way that you want it facing. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed making 
from pretty much the start to finish on a couple of my fish extender gifts. And I just have to get the rest of the red um, set up and prepped like this. And then I have the black version as well because I also have some of the white pouches that these are going to go on. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.